One of these opportunistic infections that I mentioned is tuberculosis. And tuberculosis uh, occurs more in uh, patients. Patients who have, or people who have HIV, who are living with HIV, have a high chance of getting uh, tuberculosis uh, than others. I'm not saying that if you have HIV, you must get tuberculosis. No, I'm saying HIV kills your immunity and TB can come and attack you. And I'm also not saying that people who don't have HIV cannot contract H uh, tuberculosis. Personally, I had an experience with tuberculosis and uh, I thank God I did not uh, find any stigma and I took drugs for six months and uh, I got well. So now, uh, TB is just an opportunistic infection, meaning it is there. You acquire it and TB occurs in two forms, so we'll explain. So you get TB. TB is basically a disease that is caused by mycobacterium tuberculosis. That is a bacteria. So this bacteria exists and people who have TB, active TB, they can spread it through coughing, sneezing, and laughing, and even talking. So those uh, uh, globules that get into the air, once they get to you and your immunity is low, then you can, you can contract tuberculosis. Now, so other people who don't have HIV, sometimes you can also uh, experience low immunity, or rather you can even contract TB. However, this TB will not be active, so it will not be a TB disease. It will be latent TB. Now, that being defined... What is the difference between latent TB and uh, TB disease? That's where we're heading to. So latent TB is basically you've acquired TB, but you are not showing any symptoms of TB because your immunity is still high, and therefore it is dormant. It doesn't show any symptoms, it doesn't affect you, but it's there. And this is where most healthcare providers and most people lie, because most people have latent TB, and it's very dormant, and you don't realize it until the day that your immunity will be affected, and then you'll realize you had TB from, the way, uh, from way back. So most healthcare providers and most uh, volunteers and, and, and caregivers are, lie under latent TB. And it's only fair that you go and test for latent TB. And if you found positive, you start the therapy because that can be a very dangerous uh, form of TB. Okay? And this is the reason why some people think uh, you are born naturally with TB. No, you are not. So people are not born with TB. People acquire TB from the environment. Once you acquire this TB, and since your immunity is high, then the TB is, uh, is overwhelmed and goes into latent stage where it is just dormant and doesn't spread. However, TB disease is where the symptoms start to show. So now your immunity has gone down, you have latent TB, and latent TB can be converted to, uh, can grow into TB disease. Why? Because if it is there and is dormant, once your immunity goes down for any conditions, what takes your immunity down? Basically, it's just eating poor diets. And those poor diets will take you to diabetes, obesity, cancer, and HIV. So HIV, sorry. HIV, you can get it through uh, uh, the channels that we know. But diabetes and obesity and cancer, these three come as a result of poor diets. Now, once you eat poor diets, the sugar, the fructose, okay, the seed oils, and those inflammatory foods like uh, uh, the wheat products, the breads, once you eat those food, you get into obesity and cancer and inflammation also. And then now this lowers your immunity because obesity lowers your immunity. Cancer also kills your immunity. And diabetes also kills your, kills your immunity. And that's the reason why people who, uh, during the COVID season, these three groups of people are the ones who suffered most because any virus can attack anybody who has these three conditions. And that's why we tell you to eat healthy so that you clear these three. Once you clear, or the two basically, once you clear these two, uh, which we mostly refer to as the metabolic syndrome, once you clear those, and then you clear insulin resistance, and therefore your immunity goes up. So you start fighting infections and conditions as a healthy person. So these are very dangerous because they, 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 they will cause you uh, more trouble because of lowered immunity. Okay. So once your immunity goes down as a result of this or as a result of any other thing, then TB, latent TB can grow into uh, TB disease. However, people who have HIV can acquire TB disease directly because the immunity is already compromised. Same to people who have cancer. So your, TB, your immunity is already compromised and therefore you can acquire TB disease from a person who is symptomatic, who is showing the symptoms. And what are the symptoms of TB? Basically, TB affects different organs in the body, the kidneys, the brain, uh, the liver, the lungs. So depending on the organs, then you'll find out the symptoms. So basically, if you have lung, the TB that affects the lungs, which is more common or more prone, that's why you have coughing and you can cough even blood. Okay, and once you cough, if you don't cover your mouth with an elbow or a handkerchief, then those uh, globules go into the air, and that is prob a problem because that is what leads to latent TB to other people. They acquire it through the environment uh, from a person who has just coughed, laughed, or is singing and talking. Okay, however, you cannot acquire TB through kissing. 
okay because you have to acquire it because this is an airborne disease okay it's not passed through saliva it's passed through air globules okay so it's an airborne disease so you cough and you can even cough blood it's profuse it's prof it's coughing you also there is weight loss unexplained weight loss so you're just losing weight you can take a, an hiv test it's negative and then you little do you know that you are suffering from from tb so that is a problem so unexplained weight loss again night sweats people sweat a lot during the night and you think it's just a normal thing then high fevers and those headaches so at some point you're feeling fevers and the temperatures are just normal but your body is reacting because it is trying so hard to fight this tb however it's being overwhelmed so fever is a symptom of uh, a tb high fevers okay so basically those are just the symptoms of tb unexplained weight loss coughing uh, those high fevers and night sweats those are basically the hallmark signs that you have TB disease. So once you see those, then you have to go and take a TB test. And